I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an Suna. Elves in Fair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alpine. They're drawn about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alpine. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do?
fallen log in the river. It has something on it that looks clear. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus. Having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Good. We can explore the river now, and hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. Enemy on the left!
Are you okay? Noken song, you weary. Must stop that Noken from singing! Behind you! Another drawbridge. We'll need to look. What's it say, brother? that tree above us. Like that word. Well, that did it.
Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful one. weren't always this ravenous. The ecosystem. It's out of balance. <laughs> All is desolation. A fitting fate. Astro. No. Spirit. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The anger you are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. No. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can reach it from a different no. angle. No. No. I wonder what a good hurl of your axe would do to that flaming pot. No. No. Digital arrows won't work on this. Their 
There must be more poison somewhere. When my garden blooms, so will my soul. The family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything interesting, brother? This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Sigil arrows won't work on this. I await the day when my god grows again. It's finished. Let's return to Astrid. Armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. 
Look. The door is held shut by that counterweight. We lower it, the door will open. Look, over there. My garden is still as dead as I am, isn't it? See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, uh, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Alive again. I can feel it. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I, you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All. That is no reason not to try. Vines have grown through the window. Maybe we could get closer from the other side. Those vines. They're growing from that bridge. This crest belonged to Odin, a peace offering from my people, and a waste of
Break the chain from here as well, no? The gate's open. We can head back and get inside.
her brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but... Relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. <clears throat> the Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. We'll just pick this up later. Now for the goddess. Big man. Let's make something then. Family crest, I'll take them. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. And how is it you two know each other? Nah, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secret dude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? <laughs> That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, Clever Pam. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bailey? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. Hmm. You could say the same about hot cheese. 
Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. <laughs> but from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. My soul cannot rest until they are at rest. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhil. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. I 
more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. Must be Sather this way. We'll need to find another way around. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding scene. repair my old armor for you. Hey, um, you yes. happen to find my missing orb yet, though? You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. fits. These bridge supports look sturdier. We'll have to find a way to the other side to lower it. Sigil arrows won't work on this.
on that orb yet? The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's ore. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. Interesting.
Sigil arrows won't work on this. More Sather markings. Boonhield's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. Sigil arrows won't work on this. That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little spear. Should we return them to her? Come on, Traitor! Off your back! Anything illuminating.
Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Gunhu. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. We should get moving. Crest of Kavasir the Wise. More like Kavasir the Inebriated. Just gorgeous. Learn anything? I wish things had gone differently. But these saints are resting. Another nightmare! To the left! We'll have to find a way through this debris.
it done? It is done. Buddy, your friends are at peace. Good. And I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos. Thank you for taking the time to help my people. I help no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. What did you find? does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Ah, I know that face! You got something for me, don't ya? Would have been a shame to have left that behind. Lunda. Business time. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elf has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mamir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been... And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. Hey, Freya. How you doing? I'm fine. 
All that, madam. We are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh, uh thank you? Any time. Ha! <laughs> you ain't changed one damn bit. <laughs> Somebody ought to save these, even if the van air won't. A good fit.